Hello everyone! Um, I thought I would go live inside of the group today just to honor you all for saying yes to being in this group and we get double gratitude today. I'm actually going to go ahead and do gratitude practice 9 and 10 right now in this one session um, because I want to go see my unicorn and then I'm going to go see my mom so my day is going to be booked after that. So much to be grateful for. Hello Charlotte, I see you love. How is everyone today? It's really hot here, almost 90 degrees, um, which I know for some people is cool because I have a friend who is in Arizona and he's like, it's like 120 degrees, which is freaking crazy. Isn't that crazy? Okay, tell me how you are in the comments. I see Mark, Yana, Charlotte. Hello, hello loves. I'm so happy to see you today. Um, okay, so let's dive into our practice. I'm actually sitting in my car because I was headed to the barn and I was like, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I gotta get this in uh, because I've committed to it and because you've committed to it and because it's so good for us and it's definitely shifting things in my life. Um, I trust that you feel it. Um, I would love for you to share in the comments anything that has shifted or changed for you. Please keep dropping words for me to add to the glass jar because I keep adding them, adding them, adding them. It's just gonna, gonna be covered with beautiful words of affirmation. By the end of everything, it's gonna be super exciting. Um, yeah, so let's go. Um, so I'm gonna be like tapping and holding my phone. Like I can do this, right? Day nine is about <clears throat> being a money magnet. So we're gonna tap on money. But before we tap on money, I want to talk to you about really shifting your energy around your bills. And maybe you've done this before, but maybe you haven't. Because when I was first introduced to this aspect of gratitude around my bills, I had never really thought about it. It was not even in my awareness. I was like, oh, wow, that's, an, that's a crazy, major, magical, powerful shift. What you're going to do is you're going to find 10 bills and you're going to write gratitudes on them. Um, you're going to say, thank you, thank you, thank you for my electricity. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my water. And as you do that with each bill, you're going to think about the people who, uh, you're going to send love to all of the people who probably don't know them but all of the people who like installed the electricity in your home, who ran the electrical lines, who laid the pipes so that you could have running water in your home. I'm so curious if anyone has ever done this. Isn't that kind of mind blowing, a mind blowing shift? It was really mind blowing. I was like, wow, I never thought to send love and gratitude to the people who laid the foundation for my home, who laid the pipes, did the electricity, the cable people. You know, the reason why you have internet that you're able to even view this video. Have you ever thought of that? Tell me that is powerful. Can I get a flame in the comments? <laughs> if that feels super freaking powerful to you, it was so powerful to me. Just gratitude on a whole new level, right? So, um, what you're going to do is take those bills and write on them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Paid. And then close your eyes and think about those people. Grab the next bill. Do the same thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Paid. You know what? Maybe one of those bills isn't paid yet. Maybe one of those bills is higher than you expected. Maybe one of those bills you don't even know how you're going to pay. I want you to still write on it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, paid. And feel the feeling as if it's already paid. And we also get to shift this feeling of resentment. Have you ever gotten a bill that was higher? Let's just tap, let's go ahead and tap on a heart space too while we're doing this. Have you ever gotten a bill that was higher than you expected and you're like, really? And you feel resentment and anger around it? I know I have. Honestly, I think I spent most of my life feeling resentment and anger for my bills. When the bills would come in, it would piss me off. I would think about how I was the only one. I was doing it on my own. Single parent, you know? 
or even before I was single. These assholes taking our money. This energy should be free. Do you know what I'm talking about? We get to sit in full gratitude for the way that things are in this world. It's the beauty way, right? Seeing the beauty in all of it. Even if we don't agree with it, even if we know some of it is a shit show, it's, some of it's not fair, but when we hold gratitude for everything, we find this beautiful place of neutrality and we can navigate the world so much. It brings us back into oneness. It's like the oneness reset. And when you can truly feel, see, experience, embody the oneness of everything around us, that is where the power is. We reclaim our power. We take radical responsibility for the, the reality that we are creating around us. And we get to shift and mold everything because we came to co-create in the physical. That's the whole point was to learn to navigate the physical. And we chose the most beautiful time, but also the most difficult time perhaps to be alive because there are so many shifts. There are so many changes and we've got to really support our bodies through tapping and all the other things and breath work and yoga and getting outside and getting grounded, right? All the things. Okay. So that is